One of the hardest New Year's resolutions is to lose weight. Food is one of God's greatest gifts, but like all of His gifts, it can be abused. A few years ago, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, released a study showing a 130% increase in the number of severely obese Americans. The CDC noted that if the present trends continue to 2030, we will see an increase from 34% of Americans to 42% who are obese. America seems to be losing the battle of the bulge. I know that God is sovereign and He determines our days, but I also know that He who ordains the ends ordains the means. The research that is out there about the deleterious effects of being overweight is so abundant. We don't need more studies, more research. We just need more discipline. In my personal struggle with trying to keep the fat off, I've appreciated what Chuck Swindoll says about accomplishments in general. Three steps forward, two steps backwards. About 10 years ago, a friend of mine got me into running. Not that I'm fast, but he said to me, it sure beats the doctor's bills. And he kept saying to me, Jer, can I borrow your pillow? And he was talking about my stomach. And after a while, it made me realize, hey, I better get going on this thing. Keeping the weight off is an ongoing struggle. And the coronavirus lockdown has not made it any easier. So which is the best exercise for you as we head into the new year? The answer is the one you will actually do. Let's ask God to give us the grace to glorify Him, even in what we eat, or in some cases, don't eat. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newton.